So I'm just in the process of um, spot cleaning Loki's cage. So I'm just about to use these um, Pets at Home cage cleaning wipes. Um, and I'm going to use that to basically clean um, his will because he always pees on it. Um, so the items I have on the floor at the moment, I've got these two tubes which I've taken out. I don't think I'm going to use them in his cage just to give him a bit more space because I am spot cleaning it and I'm also changing a few of the items around so it's a little bit different for him. I've got his snuggle sack from Dainty Paws but um, he really 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 loves this but he does like to poo inside and he sometimes eats in there so I'm going to empty this out into a bin. Um, I've got his sandwich. Um, as you can see there's a lot of stuff that shouldn't be in there. So usually if there's a lot of sand in there I would just use a sieve and then I've got his two um, food dishes. So I've got this star dish which is for like fruit and vegetables um, and then this dish is for his main food so I'm going to give these two a clean out and then I'm going to fill up his dishes again I'm going to show you guys what I actually um, feed Loki so Loki's actually wide awake at the moment I need to sweep on top of that hideaway there so I'm just going to give him a science selective pellet to distract him Or I can use my dustpan and brush to clean on top of here while he is munching away. He's decided to sit over here in this space. So this is actually one of his uh, sleeping spots as well. Um, so I'm just going to have a quick peek in there because I think he might store some food in here somewhere. He hasn't really been sleeping in here as much as he used to. So I think I'm just going to leave. So I think I'm just going to leave this how it is. gonna take this out so I can fill this up. and I think I actually mentioned this in my previous video but it's actually a bottle cleaner so this bit cleans the main bit of the bottle and then you've got this little bit here this is the bit that you use clean the nozzle of the bottle and it allows you to actually get in there and clean the bottle so I thought I'll quickly show you how um, I clean my um, saggle sack from Dainty Paws so I have actually included these in my October hamster boxes as well as my December standard and deluxe hamster boxes um, but I just thought I would show you guys how I actually clean it so these can go in the washing machine um, but I don't think this is ready to go into the washing machine yet um, so I'm literally just cleaning the, the inside so what I usually do is I just turn it inside out like this I'm gonna put it over this bag here and just continue to turn it inside out until it's fully inside out so this is kind of what the inside looks like so I'm just gonna take this brush and basically just brush all the little um, bits off I think he's also got some sand in there as well which is just lovely so what I'm gonna do while I'm here is I'm just gonna fill up his sand dish really quickly um, so I've just got the sand I'm using for him in this container I can't even remember what sand this is I think it's by Komodo but I'm not entirely sure because I don't have the um, packet anymore um, and this sand seems to be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this back into his cage. So this goes in this section here. Oops, sorry Loki. And I can also pop his wheel back in, which is nice and clean. So Loki is running on his wheel again. I need to adjust it a little bit because it is very squeaky, which is kind of annoying. Um, if you guys remember when I first got Loki in July, um, he was a little overweight and they said that he didn't like to exercise um, but as time has gone on he has lost um, a little bit of weight and he looks more like a normal sized um, dwarf hamster because before he just looked really rounded and chunky. So I'm just going to grab his food dish now so I can actually um, show you what I feed him. So in this drawer is where I keep um, his food. If you guys are familiar with my channel then you would have seen this drawer countless number of times. Um, so this is the food I feed him on um, it's the JR Farm Dwarf Hamster Harvest which has been discontinued um, so once this mix has finished I'm going to be giving him I'm going to be um, switching his food over but I do have some more of this mix um, so it's probably going to last me a couple of months so I'm just going to take a spoonful 
of this and pop this into his bowl um, so it's got a really nice uh, mixture of different grains seeds we've also got some bits of uh, cheese as well as the fish I don't know if you'll be able to see that in the corner but there's actually a little fish there and that's all in there for protein um, and then I've also mixed this food with the science selective pellets as well the new version of the science selective pellets so basically they just look like this um, and then in this jar over here um, are the old version of the science selective pellets so I'm just going to give him two of these because I already gave one to him this morning so I'm going to sprinkle in a couple of linseeds which is really good uh, for your hamster's skin and fur and I've fed this to all of my hamsters and they really enjoy it so I'm just going to put a pinch of that into his bowl. I'm going to give him a piece of freeze-dried chicken. Um, this is really good for giving your hamsters a really nice protein boost. Um, you can actually buy these on my website so it will come in a pack like this. I'll have my website linked in the description if you want to go ahead and check it out. I'm just going to give Loki one of these and he goes crazy for them. I have some forage mixes back here if I can get them out. So I've got this one which has got like a few flowers and stuff. And I've got this dandelion one down here. Um, I've also got this uh, parsley forage here. But recently I've been given Loki this one by Rosewood Naturals. And this is the Herb Plus. And he absolutely loves this stuff. I'm going to give him about this much. So this is kind of like a food topper. Really something to just add on top of his food. And this makes it a lot more interesting for him. Some other occasional healthy treats I like to feed Loki um, are pieces of millet spray. So in this jar um, are some occasional treats I like to give him. Some Whimsies too. So these are the, I think they're for crocodiles or alligators. So I always like to get the green ones and like the beigey coloured ones. I also have these alfalfa puff treats and I have these extra extra small Whimsies shoes. Um, so they're really really tiny, perfect size for dwarfs. Um, I actually sell the extra small and the extra extra small ones on my website as well if you want to go ahead and check those out. So I'm not going to give Loki his food just yet, I'm going to put it in his cage um, a little bit later on today. He does have some food um, in his cage because he's got a few hiding places where he likes to keep food. Um, but I'm going to try and take some pictures of him um, while it's light outside and if I give him his food he's literally going to kick it all over there. So I actually want to do a really um, quick hamster haul for you guys because I have a few Christmas stuff on my shop at the moment and I'm trying to basically sell them for the end of the year. So by the time you see this video some of the stuff might be sold out. Um, it just depends when I actually get this video up um, but I'm just going to go through some of the items that I have left. I have a container of stuff next to me so on my website which is called tiny hamster paws i have a christmas section sorry if you can hear loki running on his wheel he's still awake i also have some mystery packs so i'll show you some examples of the mystery packs as well um first off i'm going to just show you some of the products that um you can purchase individually the first one is the rosewood snowflake snowflake nose sorry so you get three in a pack and there's only one um and there's only one of these left so this is the last one um these were quite popular a lot of people um ordered these um so yeah there's only one of these left and it's basically a chew toy with coconut sprinkled on top um so it's to encourage your small pets to actually chew um the next thing is this rosewood naturals festive fruit tree so I think this is the last one of my camera focus. I think this is the last one. And it's got things such as parsley, millet, uh, wheat, apple, coconut, mountain berry. Um, so those are all of the ingredients. It's also the last one of these as well. So this is a pack of um, coconut snowballs. So these are alfalfa treats, basically co um, coated in um, coconut. Next, moving on to hideaways. So I have, I think, just two of these turkey hideaways left. So this is what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. And if my camera will focus a bit. So this is what it looks like. This is by Anko and this is 
um, a wooden chew is suitable for like rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters, etc. Um, and I have maybe like four of these left. And then this was another really popular item. I only have three of these left. I think this is the last. Okay, it's not the last item. I have like two more things. Um, so this is also by Rosewood, and this is the Sissel Santa hat. Now you might have actually seen this in Loki's cage. Um, this is absolutely adorable. It's so cute. Loki loves um, climbing up it, um, and this is just a great little piece to add to your small pets cage um so this is made out of sisal so this is the last one i have that looks like this this is by the same company as um the other wooden tree i just showed you guys this one is actually by uh rosewood so it looks pretty similar but it's actually by a different brand so this is the wood and luther tree and loki's got this in his cage and it looks really 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 good so on my website i've added um some mystery packs like i said um i think i've only got about four of them left so these mystery packs are 14.99 each however if you were to purchase these items individually on my website it would cost a lot more than 14.99 website if you use the code christmas 20 you will get 20 percent off um all of the christmas products apart from um the mystery packs because they're basically already discounted so i'm going to show you some examples of um some products that you would get in the mystery pack so this is the first one so you would get this uh reindeer cracker which looks like this it's super adorable um one of these festive uh fruit trees um this wooden tree and this um green wooden rattler was another super popular product and there was a red one as well but that is completely sold out so that's an example of one of these mystery packs so each one is different um so i'm going to show you this one now so inside here you'll get uh one of these trees um the sisal hat which looks like this and also the wooden rattler and the coconut snowballs so this is the rosewood naturals christmas bag of bulbul next i have another one of these wooden trees um the green wooden rattler and also the sisal hat so in each one of these packs i've included at least one tree like i said i'm not really sure if i will have many of these items left um, by the time i get this video up so i'm going to go ahead and open up my advent calendar so we have like six days to open so let's see what is in this box um i'm hoping it will be a skincare product but i feel like it might be like a little shower gel it, no this is not this is actually a body scrub so i do actually really like this scent so this is a so this is a coconut body scrub and their scrubs are actually really nice so this is what it looks like on the inside it's actually this actually looks really nice and it smells really good as well um so i'm really looking forward to testing this out i think this is like a full size product like a shower gel it looks like a shower gel what is this oh okay it's not a shower gel <laughs> i thought it was i was getting excited then because this is like my favorite um scent for the shower gels um so this is actually a strawberry product and the strawberry and the strawberry line is literally like my favorite this is actually a shampoo so they did include a um mini shampoo and conditioner last year this is a strawberry one and i'm sure this smells incredible oh my god this smells so good it literally smells just like the shower gel this is so nice so your hair is literally gonna smell like strawberries i'm actually really happy with this product and um, this was the box for number 10 if i didn't show it this one is really cute it's the christmas tree one my camera is just not focusing today is this a hand cream so it is a hand cream so i did say this previously i really love their um, hand cream i don't know how to pronounce it is it moringa i think it might be moringa <laughs> i'm not 100 percent sure but yeah this is one of their hand creams this is the full-sized one i already got a little coconut one from this um advent calendar um but they usually include hand creams every year so i'm really happy with this this is the box number 12 it's a double decker bus um i hope this is a skincare product because i do really want more skincare products we've only had like one so far 
Uh, okay, it is a skincare product, but it's literally one that I just finished. Um, so this, oh, actually it's not. Okay, I'm really, really happy about this. I thought it was um, a face wash, but it's not. It's the moisturizer. I'm really excited to try this out. So this is the carrot cream. So I've tried the carrot face wash and it's actually finished. It was okay. It wasn't too bad. But this is the um, face cream. So this was number 12. I don't even know what the day is today. Is it the 15th? Was it the 14th? This one is another sort of heavyish one. So this one is super cute. I love this one, it's adorable. Um, this one's quite heavy. This is like a full size shower gel. It looks like a shower gel. Oh, I think this is a conditioner. Okay, that makes sense. So you've got a shampoo. Oh, I've got hair in my eye. <laughs> so you've got a shampoo and you've got a conditioner. That is really, really good. I'm happy about that. I can't wait to try these out. Oh, this smells really, really, really good. Oh my God, this smells amazing. So yeah, this is the strawberry conditioner this one is a greenhouse it's very adorable um this one is also quite heavy is this a shower gel i don't think i like this one i got the hand cream to this uh not last year i think it was the year before like rose scented stuff i'll probably like give this one away um because i know i'm definitely not going to use it my calendar's looking so empty so here's an overview of all the goodies that i just opened up in my calendar so i would say my favorites um, are definitely the shampoo and the conditioner and this carrot cream. So this is my body shop drawer, it's packed, filled with products. Um, some of them are from the calendar, however, there are a handful of products that I already have. But whenever it gets close to Christmas, I always try and use up a lot of like my body shop products and uh, my Soap and Glory products as well to try and make space for new stuff. This is one of the items that Soap and Glory sent me in a PR package the other week. I did to keep two things. So one of them was um, this, which is Righteous Butter and the Flake Away. This this is like the travel size version so i decided to keep um this little set of two makeup products um so yesterday i actually put my lush stuff into this drawer because i currently only have four lush products and i needed to make space i don't really talk about makeup and stuff as much on my channel as i did like two years ago um but i do still really like makeup i'm not like crazy about it but i do like makeup um so i do have a makeup drawer which i'll quickly show you guys i haven't shown my makeup collection in like a very very, very long time I really need to go through it again and declutter so let me know if you guys would like me to actually do a video on that i think that would be quite fun i can include it in like a vlog or something so there is a lot of stuff in here it's quite full so this was my nail drawer before it just had all nails but i don't really need a whole drawer of nails um so i've just like stacked them up there's quite a few packs here this is the soap and glory um set that i was talking about that i decided to keep so it's got like a i think that's a cream eyeshadow and then this eyeliner which is the product that i really wanted to try out um and then i've got some brushes here so i've got this one that i got from primark um last weekend when i went to london with lily um i picked up this concealer and foundation brush and i also picked up these lashes and a lash glue um so i don't actually know why this product is in here because i have opened this and um, i got this for my birthday it's the Too face uh rich and dazzling lip gloss and and the packaging for this is just beautiful like look how pretty that is it's gorgeous um i haven't actually used it i've used it like twice since i've got it because it's a very like bright pink um but yeah this product is amazing but i don't know why it's in here because i've used it um i've got some chanel brushes here um uh, because i work at chanel i think i've got another one here and um, i've also got a chanel mirror I've got this ted baker mirror i've got this pixie set which i got for my birthday from charlie which is still in the box um i've got this Too faced if i can actually pull it out um this Too faced set that i got for my birthday as well from charlie i've used the mattifying mist i think i finished that but i've still got these three products to actually use which is what's in here and i got sent this pr package uh, 
uh, back in the summer. This was sent to me by the lovely Dominic Paul. Um, he released his first ever makeup product a couple of months ago and just before he released it he sent me this little PR package. So yeah this is what I got sent. It's really cute and this is the product. So this was a contour palette. Dominic Paul actually had an event on um, I think it was November the 21st that I was invited to but I didn't actually attend it because I was super super busy. So I also got this uh, little pop socket in there and then I think that was it. Yeah the actual palette. So it came packaged like this and there's a little sticker. Um, and look how gorgeous that is it's so pretty and i love the little um detailing of this pattern um in the middle it's so cute and then you open it up and you've got a mirror and then here you've got all of the um and then here you've got all of the shades and if i'm correct i think you can actually take these out and they're just uh magnetic but yeah that's really really cute and then this is my makeup tool where um, I basically keep the rest of my makeup. So I do want to do a declutter. I like to do a declutter every couple of months just to get rid of things that are out of date or things I don't use. Um, and I don't tend to really buy makeup anymore anyway because I have a lot. I actually put up my little Christmas decorations yesterday. I've got someone from my Alex 9 drawers. Reindeer over here. I've got another reindeer on my desk uh, where my calendar is. I'm going to go and get something to eat because I'm really hungry. It's like one o'clock right now so I'm going to go and have a late lunch and probably have like some melon or something because I bought some melon from Morrison's like two days ago. So I'm going to go now and I'll see you guys in my next vlog and thank you so much for watching. So bye for now guys. Thank you.